Hi all, I am Disha Shukla and welcome to the session. In this session, we are going to discuss about the call routing in GPRS. So we have already seen how a call is routed in GSM, that is through which, uh, that is starting from the mobile station, it goes to the BTS, then BSS, then go, it goes to the MSC and then it goes to the MSC of the another, that is the subscriber that it has called. This way the whole, whole uh, call is routed in your GSM. Now similar is the situation when a call is routed in GPRS. Let's see that in detail. So uh, here we have two PLMN, that is PLMN1 and PLMN2 and both of them have their own uh, architectured networks here. So now what actually happens is that the GPRS MS is located in PLMN1 inside the I sends an IP packet to the host connected to the IP network. Now SGSN uh, that the MS uh, is registered with the is registered with encap it encapsulates the IP packet coming from the backbone to the appropriate DGSN. The GGSN then de-encapsulates the packet and sends them out to the IP network where the IP routing mechanism are used to transfer the packet to the access router of the destination network. Finally, it delivers the IT packet to the host. Then home PLMN of the mobile station is the PLMN2. So an IP address has been assigned to the MS by the SG, uh, GGSN of the PLMN2 and so the mobile station's IP address has the same network prefix as the IP address of the GGSN in PLMN2. So the correspondent host is now sending the IP packet to the mobile station onto the IP network and are routed to the GGSN on the PLMN uh, on the PLMN2. The latter queries the HLR and obtains the information that the MS is currently located in PLMN1. It encapsulates the incoming IP packet and finally it tunnels them through the inter-PLMN GPRS backbone of the appropriate SGSN in PLMN1 while the SGSN it de-encapsulates the packet and finally it delivers them to the MS. So this is how the call routing in GPRS takes place. If you have any queries in this, you can ask me. Until then, keep learning.